Net Miko is one of multiple libraries discussed in my CCIE Python course. Net Miko is a multi-vendor library that simplifies Paramico SSH connections to network devices. NetMiko makes it very easy to connect to multiple network devices, including Cisco IOS devices. It essentially allows your Python scripts to SSH to network devices, make configuration changes, or execute commands. One of the Python built-in data types that NetMiko uses is dictionaries. So as an example, a dictionary is used to store information about this Cisco 881 device. We can see a device type being Cisco IOS. We can see the IP address of the device, its username, password, SSH port number, by default it's 22, the secret password to use, and whether verbose information is used. Now what is a Python dictionary? A Python dictionary is a built-in data type. They are sometimes found in other languages and are called associated memories or associative arrays. Unlike other data types in Python, dictionaries are indexed by keys. So the best way to think about dictionaries is an unordered set of key value pairs with the requirement that the keys are unique within the dictionary. Now here's an example from one of the videos in my course. This is a script called netmiko3.py. And as you can see here, I'm using a Python dictionary to specify information about an iOS V device, iOS V layer 2 S1. So here's an example GNS3 topology. I've got an Ubuntu Docker container connected to a GNS3 unmanaged switch, which gives me connectivity to the internet through a NAT cloud, and also connects me to a Cisco IOS V layer 2 switch. Here's the Cisco IOS V layer 2 switch. I've configured the switch with an IP address of 192.168.122.72 on VLAN 1. I've also configured it for SSH. So from my Ubuntu host, I can ping the switch and I can also manually SSH to the switch with these credentials, so David and a password of Cisco. So I'm manually able to connect to the device. Let's create a script, so CCIE Python 1.py. What I'll do is grab some code from this NetMiko3 Python video file on GitHub. So I'll copy the dictionary information, paste that into the script. On the NetMiko GitHub page, there are some instructions which we can use. So once we've created our device, we can connect to the device. We need to connect to the device with the specific name. In my Python video script, I'm actually connecting to more than one device. So let's copy the NetMiko example. So in my script, I'm going to connect to iOS V layer 2 S1. And then we can use commands such as the following, show IP interface brief. So this is output once again from the NetMiko GitHub page but I'll simply leverage that in my script. Before we exit out of the script, I need to change the IP address of the device to be correct. So the dictionary contains this information. Device type is Cisco IOS, IP address is this. And to confirm, that is the IP address of the switch, username is this, password is this. So, Python, CCIE Python 1.py. Are we able to retrieve information from the switch? Yes, we are. So that simple script has been able to SSH to the switch and retrieve this information from the switch. 
So on the switch, as an example, if we do debug IP SSH, hit enter. Let's run the script again. So I'll clear the screen, run it again. What you'll notice is the script is connecting to the switch. You can see the SSH connection in real time, and we can see the output of the script. Now, how does a dictionary actually work? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.